Covering Colorado tonight takes us to the state capitol for a life impacting story. Little girl from Arvada has a rare condition. She cannot feel pain. Gracie Hoyt needs special care, but her doctor was barred from seeing her after switching jobs. Now, a state lawmaker is stepping in to help out. Political specialist Sean Boyd live at the Capitol with a story you will see only right here on CBS4. Sean? Well, Karen, as a mom, I would be devastated to lose my kid's pediatrician, but it is nothing compared to Gracie Hoyt losing her doctor. Her condition is so rare that only a handful of doctors in the world know what it is. And yet a state law prevented her from following her doctor when that doctor switched hospitals. In many ways, Gracie Hoyt is like any other seven-year-old girl. She likes Taylor Swift, mermaids, Does look like a sportswoman? and playing dress-up. But she is unlike almost anyone in the world in that she cannot feel pain. A lot of people, when they hear that Grace can't feel pain, they think, oh, it's a superpower. And I'd like to say no, it is not a superpower, it is a curse. Susan Hoyt says her daughter was born with a rare condition that impacts less than 50 people in the world. It took years to find a doctor who could treat her. Then that doctor switched jobs. And because she'd signed a non-compete contract, she was prevented from seeing former patients for two years. We've got this kid with a very complex medical condition and what are we supposed to do now? We actually have a covenant not to compete in our state statute, which seems kind of ridiculous. State Senator Rachel Zenzinger plans to change that. She introduced a bill that makes an exception in non-compete contracts for doctors who treat rare disorders. It just made sense that for people with these rare diseases, they already have difficulty finding the appropriate care that they need. Zenzinger named the legislation Gracie's bill. I call her amazing Gracie. Her mom says she may not have a superpower, but she is a superhero. Gracie is this little superhero of love. And anybody who meets this little girl falls in love with her. As, off, as is often the case down here, the legislature makes incremental changes. So for now, this bill only applies to those with rare conditions. A relatively small number of Coloradans, about 7,000, but for them, it is a big deal. The bill did pass the Senate unanimously, and I do expect it to pass the House as well. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Sean